Hello everyone, welcome at ISORP Academy. In this tutorial, I will talk about ISORP Web Admin. What does it offer? How to get information about services, where to create new domains or users, or what does it mean white labeling, for example? This video is meant to be an interaction into Web Admin. If you'd like to see more detailed usage of Web Admin, please find an advanced videos of Web Admin interface. To visit the Web Admin, go to your ISORP server URL slash admin. There are actually three types of users in ISORP server, each with different view in Web Admin. First type is administrator. That's the admin of whole server. This user can configure server settings, stop services, work with API, create new domains, users, and so on. Second type is domain admin. That's not admin of whole server, but just domain. This user can create new users, new groups, change properties of the domain, set limits, for example, rules, and so on. He can't, however, configure anything on the server level. And third type is just the regular user. It's not so common, but the user can administer his PEM queues. So let's have a brief introduction into the web admin interface. I will show it under administrator account, so it may vary according to your user type. Once you log into the web admin interface, there is a dashboard with a lot of important information updated in real time. Current traffic can help you determine load of the server. You can select any service of ISWARP, set a time range, and choose the category to display in a chart. Under the chart, there is another important part, service statuses. All services of ISWARP server are divided into several categories and you can easily check where is the problem thanks to color coding. To see more details, just open the category and select any service in here. You can also stop or restart the service from here, as well as see detailed statistics. Besides of the dashboard, there are several other parts of Web Admin to talk about. For example, users and domains menu, where you can add a new domain, create users to existing domains, or configure domain options, properties, set limits, rules, or customize the interface with white labeling. Actually, we have a separate white labeling video guide, so I recommend to see it for more information. And of course, server settings. Place where all major configurations of ISOP server can be done. One of first steps within the configuration should go to Smart Discover, where we set host names of ISOP services. All topic of DNS records and Smart Discover is also covered in separate video. And finally, most advanced feature of Web Admin is here, API Console, place where you can find almost any configuration of ISORP server. To be honest, it's not designed for users, but once you know your server well, you will find it very useful. For more information about API Console, see detailed video on our channel. So this is ISORP Web Admin. Easy to use web interface to configure your ISO server from anywhere. And it's also all from me now. Don't forget to continue with more detailed videos of ISO server configuration and see you next video. Bye. Okay, what else? Did you like this video? So leave us a thumbs up and subscribe so you won't miss any other. I also recommend you our next video, which is as well related to ISORP. See you there. Bye.